Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We are continuing our adventures on All Quiet in the Trenches with the battle update, and we are jumping into our first real test of the updated battle system. This isn't a tutorial fight, this is an actual a proper battle of the story playthrough, and we have to attempt to take back the trench that the Frenchman took off us during the tutorial. So, forward march. Over the river we go. Now, we can go right, or we can go left. I think... Let's go... I mean, who have we got? We've got one squad on the left. That would kind of put us on the left flank. And we've got two squads on our right. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go left. I'm going to aim for that bridge, or maybe just beside it. Not quite sure. But let's push forward to the left. Oh, I can hear the shots coming down already. Oh, oh, and we're oh, about to look backwards. Uh, yeah, we really have no one else on our left. That's uh, not great. That'll put somebody on our flank. Prevents suppression of enemy positions, but I will have excellent cover. That should be a good place to... On the other hand, I could find some equipment. Everybody loves a good grenade. Let's move forward. Let's see if we can find a bit more equipment to take with us. We'll give our other allied squads a chance to push up a little bit as well. Let's search crates. And then let us... Can't actually see anyone to suppress. So let's just save our ammunition and go for the next turn. I'm so hoping for a third grenade. I think grenades are going to be very important with the updates they've gone and done compared to before where it didn't really seem to do too much. I was able to find some ammunition. Oh, we're still already full of ammunition, so... Oh, there's another squad on my left. They don't have a token, but they are there nonetheless. Uh, that makes me flanked. So let's move up to this one fully in cover. Let's uh, move up. Hopefully this guy goes and rejoins his squad as well, and hopefully they also keep moving forward, because they're slightly in the way. They're kind of hogging that bridge. Oh, and uh, now we're going to look behind us again. That's better. Uh, okay, so I can go to two positions. One on the left is slightly better, so let's get across that river to make sure we don't fail. We'll still be in low danger, and we will have some barbed wire to cut, so we might even actually stop and shoot somebody this time. I think I saw some French retreating on the right, or he's rejoining his squad, one of the two. Open fire, drive them out of their trenches and occupy them. We have crossed the river. We can see three French troops. We've got uh, our allies on the right. Oh, we changed the low cover. That was supposed to be medium cover. We've obviously been somewhat flanked. Now we have these squads over here. Um, interestingly difficult choice. I was going to go for the squad on the right, but uh, with these guys pushing up so much, I think we have to give them some support. So I am going to press French troop number three, and I'm also going to fire on side. Yes, fire on sight. <laughs> the one guy in person can take cover. And let's see what we can do. Let's try and help our squad on the extreme left, who is kamikaze, quite frankly. Let's see if we can push them back. Oh, we've got another squad on our left. Oh, that squad just kind of split up. That's never a good idea. Oh, we've got an injured soldier. Uh, how are we doing, Colm? That was pretty close. The shot hit right next to me. That's uh, never a great thing. We've got another squad pushing up here. They are down to four people. They are up on some five still. And these guys are on five and five. I'm sure they were on five and four a second ago. Maybe they got split up and someone then rejoined them. Uh, this does put me into danger of close quarters. 
interesting. Um, I don't... Covering fire for movement. Alright, let's do that. Uh, you and... I'm actually going to go Pedersen. Um, no. Ah, right, so they would have cover fired me whilst I moved forward. Interesting. That's a nice little bit of movement. Now, I don't really want to move there, but I do need to push forward. I haven't really got a lot of other options, to be honest. Oh, I can advance to the left. Hold position is low danger. That is moderate danger. Hmm, because troop number three is going to be shooting me on sight. Let's... You know what, let's go for it. Hopefully some of these guys can annoy them. Those guys at the back are the ones that are going to cause me problems. I mean, I would do cover and fire, but it separates them from the group, and I don't think I like that. Not quite at this point, anyway. I probably should have tried to cut the barbed wire last turn. That would have allowed me to get through maybe a little bit better. Oh no! Damn it! They got, I want to say, Menk. Yeah, they got Menk. Uh, Menk was wounded on the way here. Yes, he was. I can't drag him to me. Oh, yeah, I can. I just need to actually select it. Get Menk into cover. We are going to get Pedersen to do that. Um, fire back at French troop number three. And we shall add... It's going to be calm. Can't quite grenade anybody, but we're going to fire back at those guys. Uh, he's only lightly wounded, so it's not too bad. And let's go ahead. And there's my way in. But I need... I need to... Uh, I, I need to clear some stuff out first, basically. Get Menk into cover first. Point one. I like how I just like... I guess I go and tag him and then he... Oh, I thought that was going to be a beautiful grenade throw. Oh, we've got another... That's, they're going to be pushed back. That's fantastic. They should hopefully be pushed back. Those guys are moving that way. Cole, the enemy is getting reinforcements. First aid for Menk. That is going to be Mail, the man. And the rest of you, please move into the next cover. Uh, go, go, go. Get into those trenches. And hopefully I can start pushing the French back a little bit. I'm going to try and focus on these guys. Couple of grenades. Why are only three guys moving? I'm going to have to wait for my, neck, for my other guy to uh, come and join us again. Somebody got separated. Dump that up now. Pedersen couldn't catch up with us. No, no, he could not. Uh, that kind of puts me on the flank. Kind of doesn't. I am in grenade range. Who am I in grenade range of? Because if I'm in grenade range of somebody, they could be in grenade range of me. Here we go. Pro grenade. Ooh, which will come. Don't let me down. And then fire on sight, which will be you guys. Uh, we should shoot back. You are going to shoot back. Uh, he's wounded. He's coming back to me and he's doing the first aid. Okay. Let's see if we can push back French troop number one with four soldiers currently. Show me a beautiful grenade throw, please, Colm. Do not let me down. Uh, these guys are... Oh, there goes one grenade. Ah, that looked like a miss, but it could have just about counted as a hit. Oh, a double grenaded. That was beautiful. Oh, that's going to hurt. Beautiful hit as well. Oh, that was a soldier down. I think a soldier straight dead as well. Oh no, we got some first aid going on. So, oh, two soldiers down. We got two bits of first aid going on though. Um, okay, yeah, he's coming up to me. It looks like the first aid is finished. I assume he will now. Yep, be escorting him back. We took out one guy there. Uh, Cole, don't let me down again. And. Hey, Cole. I placed the grenade perfectly. Yes, you did. And... Fire on sight. 
activated full reserves of strength in him. Cool. I love it. Um, he is shocked. That's all right. You can stay in cover. I hope you are shocked. Uh, we are down to... Oh, we did get some more hand grenades, it seems. We've also lost a bit of ammunition. Let's see if we can keep pushing these guys out. Let's have another... Oh, let's see if my, my other troop can throw a grenade as well. That'd be fantastic. Here goes one grenade. Oh, beautiful. That looked like three people down. Oh, that was not a good grenade. Oh, that was, though. Do the other one in the back for that French troop. Oh, yeah, that was uh, pretty much... It was kind of a hit, but more, kind of a miss. Artillery, which is coming from our side. Yep. You missed your target. You did. And they're back up to four soldiers. I don't like that. Um, what are we doing over here? These guys are down on three soldiers. These guys I can't see. We'll throw another hand grenade. Uh, come on, Colm. Don't, don't let me down. Uh, fire on sight. We've still got some ammunition. That's good. Let's keep things going. Maybe maybe he's actually too pumped to, uh, to actually throw these grenades straight, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Kind of want these guys to throw one with me again as well. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no injuries, though. These guys are being pushed back a little bit, it seems. You did a perfectly placed grenade, I feel, but it was a direct hit, but you didn't... Oh, yeah, one man actually went down. Now, do I go for the flanking position? Do I get more into cover? These guys are up on three. These guys I can't see. Um, it also puts me being flanked. No protection from artillery. Might just move around here, if I'm perfectly honest. Puts me in better cover all around. So, yeah, do you know what? Let's move forward. Hopefully I don't get blown up by my own artillery. Poor guy. Okay, we're into slightly better cover. That'll do just nicely. Oh, these guys are trying to come through me. Oh no, they're going... Yeah, they're charging for it. Press on. Good protection from artillery. We got tired. Close quarters combat added. That's uh, never a nice thing. I wonder who, though, because we're really not that close to anybody. Um, I don't have any grenades left, unfortunately. I don't want to charge straight into these guys, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, no, that's a, that'll be a terrible spot to be. Let's, uh, let's just stay where we are. And I guess we will suppress French troop number three. You, you, and uh, I guess we'll go for you. Let's suppress French troop number three. Maybe we can do some damage. Got those guys at the back. Looks like three troops strong still. guys limping backwards. Oh! Oh, they still got three people. Task completed. And now we retreat. That's not going to do anybody any good, is it? Uh, where can we get to that's going to be quite a good place to be? Alright, well then let's, uh, let's take a few steps backwards, shall we? And hopefully I don't get hit on the retreat because that's always the most painful. Because you get hit on the retreat and then you're supposed to be trying to run away, but you have to start patching wounds and it's uh, it's horrible. I hate being shot when you're retreating. Oh, they've still got grenades to be used. That's terrifying. But today the French are off the hook. Abort the attack. We withdraw. Uh... Return to troop unknown whereabouts. Well, I'm hoping he's in my field hospital, if I'm perfectly honest.
Um, keep running like crazy, quite frankly. There's low danger. Oh, don't separate! That's when things go wrong! Why would you do that? Come back! I'm probably gonna get told off for retreating too fast. Yep. That's uh, gonna go and lower my prestige. Not by too much. But let's go ahead and... Let's press these guys. That was pretty close. Let's go and suppress them to help my troops get back. And then we're going to continue to run like crazy. Oh, he's limping forward. Madman. Go on, how can we help you? That was pretty close. Uh, treat. Treat. Yeah, that's not a good place to be, is it? Um, retreat, retreat. Bad retreat. Tactical movement. Let's retreat. There is no danger. Except for maybe my own artillery, which could, I feel, still just wipe out my whole squad just for, just for lols, quite frankly. They're actually being quite badly battered by my artillery, but... Um, covering fire for mail. Uh, how about I just go rejoin him? Continue to move backwards. Uh, I don't know if I can get told for off for being a coward twice in one round, but we'll find out, quite frankly, because I feel like it's probably due on that far backwards. Although, I don't know who I'm supposed to find cover fire for anymore. They're all dead. And... Change to a few bandages available and change... I don't know how I just lost a bandage, but okay. And that will be us fully retreated. Let's... Oh, my prestige is in fact dropping. That's probably because I am too far back. But we should still finish on average prestige, even if it drops a bit more. Not ideal, I'd love to finish on high prestige, but, um, well, we failed, quite frankly, so I don't see that happening. Oh, good. The mood went up. And that will be the end of that battle. Kind of disappointed that we, uh... We didn't manage to retake the trench. They uh, they just kept coming and coming and coming, quite frankly, and we were unable to dislodge them, which I assume is what the general task was. Everyone changed down to medium stress, and that is the end of the battle phase. And with that, I am going to end the episode there. It's a little bit short, but if I attempt to do the camp phase, I think we are going to hit to an hour plus video. However, what I will promise you on the end of this video is that even if the next one is a little bit short, say, you know, around the 20 or the 20, under the 25 minute mark, I will say, I will push on and do the next level as well. So potential, if the next one's going to be short, I will in essence make it a double episode so that you don't get two short episodes in a row. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our first look at the battle fade. We've come away quite well. Five soldiers still walking. One lightly wounded back at the field hospital. I hope it said whereabouts unknown, but... I mean, I'm hoping mail took him all the way back to the field hospital. We'll find out at the beginning of the next episode. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, this leaves me to thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you are continuing to enjoy these episodes and this series. We are hopefully still on for not losing any soldiers, and hopefully I haven't just gone and jinxed myself. And that just leaves me to say that until we see you again, I hope that you stay safe, happy, and healthy.